Sponsored by RxCardClub.com. Get a free prescription drug card and save up to 85% on prescription drugs. RxCardClub.com. What now for Eric Ten Hag? The embattled manager saw his Man United side produce another unconvincing display in a deserved defeat to Spurs. Paul Fernessy. Three years ago, Tottenham hosted Man United in the Premier League, and fans jokingly branded the game El Sakiko. It looked to some as if whichever beleaguered manager suffered defeat on that day would lose his job. On that occasion, Spurs suffered a 3-0 defeat and consequently, their manager Nuno Espirito Santo was dismissed. The result afforded Ole Gunnar Solskjaer some breathing space but not much, as he was let go just a month later. The pressure was not quite as intense today, but there is no doubt that both the club's current managers have been under pressure already this season. The two teams came into this game level on points with one another in the Premier League table after similarly frustrating starts to the season. Ange Postacoglu has talked of consistently winning trophies in his second season as manager of clubs, but four points in their first four games meant hopes that Spurs would repeat this trend look fanciful. Similarly, Eric Ten Hag signed a new contract in the summer, primarily due to United's surprise FA Cup triumph after a dismal eighth-place Premier League finish last season. Many pundits had expected the new structure at United with Jim Ratcliffe and Ineos on board to instigate a change of manager. Instead, they opted to back Ten Hag. Yet that decision appears to have backfired. The Red Devils are 12th in the table after losing three out of six top-flight games. In the past, Ten Hag has blamed injuries on the club's substandard performances. But he had no such excuse this afternoon, as United fielded what many people would consider their strongest 11. Advertisement People will argue that the Bruno Fernandes red card, a harsh decision, was the turning point, but in truth, Spurs should have been out of sight by then. Per stats perform, the visitors had nine big chances, the joint most ever created in a Premier League game along with Arsenal Fulham in January 2019. Tottenham also had 4.67 expected goals from 24 shots, 10 of which were on target. The only consolation for United was that the winning margin was not more emphatic. Not for the first time this season, the North London outfit failed to capitalise fully on their dominance. The visiting fans must have feared a similar outcome to earlier games this season versus Leicester City and Newcastle where they dominated for large spells but paid the price for several costly misses. Yet one day Jan Kulusevski, who has created more chances than any other Premier League player on average this season according to Sky Sports, finished clinically early in the second half, it appeared there could only be one winner. And so, it proved. Given how well L his team played, it is easy to forget the position Postacogla found himself in as recently as 11 days ago.